Hi guys, it's the Blog Tyrant here, and today I want to show you how to add a Facebook like box or fan box to your website or blog. We can see it right here on the Facebook page. This is the the bad boy right here, um, and so I'm going to show you how to add that. You can see over on my page, I've added it in the sidebar here. This is my website. Over on the sidebar here, I've added it uh, as a like button without the faces, uh, so it just shows the like button and how many people have liked it but you can also add it so that it has people's faces in it, like here on the Facebook page. And you can add it so that it's got an activity feed here and the like button and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's really easy to add. I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first step to do is to go to Google and to type in Facebook like box. And you'll see this first result up here that you get is a like box Facebook developers. Now click that link and that takes you to this page here, the like box developer page. Now one of the cool things I'll show you is on the side here in the plugins you've got all the different things you can do with Facebook. Uh, so click any of those to create different boxes, you know, the send button, recommendations box, all that kind of stuff. But today we're going to do the like box. The first thing you need to do here is add your Facebook page URL. Um, so my URL is facebook.com forward slash blog tyrant. So once we enter that, you'll see that it brings up my blog tyrant information here. So we've got blog tyrant like box, a latest post that I've just added on Facebook, and then some of the cool, very handsome people who have uh, liked blog tyrant on Facebook. Now, this URL here, if you don't know what that is, go to your Facebook page and you'll see it up here this is the thing you want to grab here, the URL in the address bar. Um, just copy that and paste it in back here on the like box page. Now, there's some parameters we need to enter in. So the width and the height. The height's totally up to you. Um, I recommend keeping it small and you know to the point. But the width is important. You need to make it as wide as your sidebar, but minus a few pixels. If it's wider than your sidebar, the edge of this box here is going to go way over the side. So if we go back to my blog here, this is the sidebar here, this is the like box. Now that's about 250, 300 pixels. If I put in 500 pixels, these, this writing here would go all the way over to here uh, and it look really horrible. So make sure you get the right width. You can play around with that though. Now you can change the color scheme from light to dark, and um, which might be nice if you've got a dark blog, but it looks pretty ugly to me. And then you can show the faces or not show the faces. Um, you can change the border color here using um, different HTML codes. So for example, if you don't want a border and you've got a white background, just enter in six Fs and that will remove the background for you. Oh, it didn't there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, you have to add a hashtag first there. Hashtag, then six Fs, and that's white, and it removes the border, as you can see. Now you can remove the stream, um, show the faces again. That's the most common one you see on most websites, one there that's got the like button, and then a few faces of the people who have liked it. If you want to show more faces, increase the height. Like, say, if we add 600 in there, then you've got more room to show all these other people on there. So. That's totally up to you and, and whatever works on your design. Now, once you've done this, click the Get Code button and it will give you a code. Um, I recommend using this second code here. Just copy and paste it. Copy. And then what we're going to do is go over to our blog's code. Now, if you're using WordPress, log into your WordPress dashboard and then go over here to the sidebar and under Appearance, you should find Editor. Click Editor. And then I'll zoom out again, go over to the other side here and find the sidebar.php file. So click that and once you've clicked that it'll bring up this code here. Now what you want to do is paste that code that you copied from the like box page, whether it was the first one or the second one, and then just paste it into your sidebar. So you can see I've pasted mine in right there, so I won't do it again. And I've added these BR tags on the top. Now, this is if you want to add a little bit of extra space on top or below it. BR is a HTML code for break, so you can add in a little bit of extra room there. Once you've done that, click Update File, and you should find that your like box is right there in your sidebar. 
I hope that helps guys. If you have any questions or whatsoever, just drop them on the YouTube video page and I'll try and answer them for you. See you later.